All right, uh, picking up from where I left off, uh, here is the first place in the game where you actually have a choice of where to go. It's a, a split path, but you're immediately hit hit this. Uh, the, the more obvious way to go is gets hit with a dead end. Um, these are carbonite blocks. They can have enemies frozen in them. You can you, you can only destroy them using the, the fully charged tank mode and you need the artillery mode to be able to shoot sideways to, to get these particular ones. Uh, so that's like the old Metroidvania, show you something you can't do yet, so that if you want, you're curious, you can come back and get it later. Um, so yeah, you literally cannot get this the first time you come. You have to get the uh, charge beam on a different planet. So you literally can't break that open in the demo. It's not, uh, charge beam isn't in the demo. Uh, unless you cheat. So here we've got these guys, um, these little spike guys. I would really like to change their... I'll probably change them completely. I'm not that happy with how they look. Um, but these are the guys you cannot jump on. Um, there's a bug also where they will kind of try and walk on you and do a whole bunch of damage to you. They, they treat you like a wall to crawl on. Um, and here we've got a room where we've got three ways we can go. We can go here, except we don't have artillery mode, so we can't shoot sideways. Even even our fireballs can't get through. Um, we don't have high jumps, so we can't get up here yet. Uh, we can... Health. We can get up here, and we can go to the right. Um, to the right, you get some difficult enemies and a spot at the end where you either have to damage boost or bounce off guys or... Uh, have a high jump to get out so that's sort of a you need to get the high jump to keep going but you can also use skill to sequence break which is intentional like want this game to be fun for speedrunners so i have lots of intentional sequence breaks and then of course there will be unintentional sequence breaks because there'll be bugs in the game that you could exploit and that's you know that's a good thing um so here is one of the intended sequence breaks you can damage boost up here so that guy gives you a huge damage boost because he's spiky. And now you can come in the back door here instead of having to go all the way around like in the original video I showed. Uh, you can come in the back and these guys will actually destroy that wall for you if you wait long enough. And now you've got the artillery mode. Uh, normally you use the artillery mode to get out of this room, but I use the enemies to get in instead. And that room is crazy hard, so let's not even go there. Uh, and now I can even skip the first <laughs> I can skip the first Space Invaders room, which is up there, because I have artillery mode, which is only useful to sequence break here. Or I'm sorry, the, these these breaking blocks are only there as part of a sequence break, intentional sequence break. Uh, normally you'd go around the other way and you'd use the high jump to get out. You'd never need to artillery through here. So that's it's there to kind of communicate that, yes, there's an intentional second different way to get through here. Uh, normally, you come through here. Maybe it's the first time you're playing. You come through here. You fall down. You can't get out. You can't get that yet. You don't know what you're doing. You can't get out. So you have to figure out, oh, yeah, I remember these are destructible blocks because I had to destroy them to get up here in the first place. So now I have the jump upgrade. jump upgrade you can just jump right out or of course you know since I sequence broke I could have blasted my way through so now with the jump upgrade uh, a lot of the stuff is easier there are spots where you absolutely have to have it and I kind of think like I might want to change that because it would be cool if it was if it was possible but really difficult to beat the game without ever getting the jump upgrade I think that would be kind interesting sequence break there uh, yeah so this is these are spots where you're intended to have the ability to shoot sideways and here you've got your actually second space invader room but we skipped the first one this one actually has a reflective screen back there at the top so you're you're actually penalized for missing they'll aim right back at you. Um, and yeah, and Space Invaders are, the intent there is 
you're supposed to try and hit them with the tank mode because the tank mode generally does more damage. And those guys, uh, if you do less damage to them, get angry and fly at you or split into two or whatever else. They shoot more, more frequently. So that's the idea there. Uh, so here we can see, unless we damage boost it up here, we basically have to have high jump and we have to have artillery mode. Can't get through here without shooting sideways unless there's some kind of exploit get to get through the top there that I'm not aware of. Um, and another thing here is once you get down here, you can't actually jump back up. It forces you to go solve these other rooms. So here we have another reflective screen. You can use it to destroy the blocks below you if you want. It's not that useful, but it's an interesting thing. I might have that be a puzzle you have to use later, actually. It's kind of cool. Um, but hopefully you say, oh, great, a new, a new mode. And you'll try it out right away, and then you'll see that these missiles go right through the force fields. And played through the first Space Invader room, you'll know that you have to shoot these power blocks to switch off the force fields. Um, in missile mode, you can pick up the power-ups uh, with the reticule, and when you're powered up, your missiles go faster and you act also charge, your missiles reload faster. So let's, let's sh just show these off. So that's level two missiles. Level three, they've got blue rockets and they go really fast and they reload really quickly. And then max level, it's almost instantaneous. You can fire really rapidly there. Um, they don't actually do more damage. I, well, the missiles themselves might, but the explosions don't do more damage, but you can fire them more frequently. So here's the way out. You'll also notice, since you'll probably be in tank mode for blowing up those things, you'll notice that you get a speed boost here. These are the fuel recharging areas uh, for your rocket mode, but they also give the tank a speed boost. And I died. Oh, there's a bug. It did not did not take away my missile power up when I died. It's supposed to take away all your power ups. I'll just cheat and get them back. Yeah, there's an interesting bug too. When they shoot up and hit that reflective screen, it keeps trying to reflect upwards because it's aiming for you. So that would be something to fix. Ow. Okay, one thing I didn't show with the uh, the tank mode is, uh, like Space Invaders, you're limited to how many shots you can have on screen. You can only have two in this mode. When you power it up, you can have five on screen. And you do much more damage. And then here you can have a bunch on screen. Um, when you get the charge beam, you'll actually be charging these shots. And this level here actually starts you in the middle charge. So this is the middle charge of the charge beam for this part. All right. And this is a, this is a room you have to have the high jump to get out. And it's one where I kind of think I might figure out a way to have like some kind of secret special way to get up here without it. Uh, here's another carbonite guy. You can't come back. You have to come back here with the charge beam. Even fully powered, it's not enough. Got a charge beam through that. And here's the exiting the pyramid. We're on the surface. Let's fix the... That sound effect is a bug. I'm gonna make that less horrible. Let's power us up here. I'm cheating a whole bunch. 
for the boss fight. Alright, so this is sort of meant to look like the Missile Command game area. The cities and the missile pads. You don't have to use missile mode in this, though. It is useful to take out the swarms. They fire at you, though. Oh, I shot myself. Alright, you can see we can't actually exit the screen when there's a boss fight. Uh, this boss, if you do a bunch of damage in one hit, it gets shrinks much more quickly. So, hitting it in tank mode is good, especially if you've powered that up. Another thing you could do is lure it down, because it does try to follow you. And then jump on it, because your stomp does a lot of damage. There we go. boost me up off the screen. Alright, there we go. So now we've beaten the boss, and we're going to move on. Um, this is the reward for the boss. You jump down the volcano. You can explore the surface here. There's nothing on it right now. Uh, I disabled a lot of the content because, yeah, just for the demo. Uh, some of it isn't ready, or it leads to things that aren't ready. So here we can grab the rocket mode right away. controls just like asteroids or lunar lander. You might notice that here on this planet it's a little bit harder. It's heavier. Like the planets do have different gravity. So your jumps are different heights and your thrust in this mode is different. Um, and one cool trick you can do is jump, transform in midair, fly out, triumphantly leaving the planet. And uh, we'll move on to the first asteroids level in the next video. Thanks for watching.